Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with our collective readings. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective, I'm picking up on your energy shifting, honey, okay? You are definitely like moving away from whatever the person, place, or thing was that really had you, you know, trying to get your goat or get you in your feelings or whatever. Um, I uploaded that reading a little bit earlier today and your energy is shifting for the better. I love it, Collective. Um, you must be dedicated yourself to really focusing in on yourself. And this is what I'm pulling in the energy, right? So it's like you have, and this is what I'm saying in my other reading, you know, you were like, you have to like move away, you know, physically, energetically, mentally, spiritually, and just kind of really distance yourself from the person, place, or thing, place the energy wherever it resonates with whomever it was, your friend, family member, the ex, the karmic, you know, your, your coworker, the boss, whomever this person is, place the energy where it resonates. I feel like you just needed to separate from this person and kind of really get in your own energy. And I love it. I feel like a really Zen energy right about now. I love it. But on the other side of the fence, somebody is feeling this 10 of cups in the inverse. Oh, they're not happy. This is somebody who had some unrealistic goals when it came to you, whatever they were trying to do to you, to you, around you. You know what I'm saying? They're not happy right about now. You know what I'm saying? This is also some type of commitment issue. So um, probably maybe some X. I was pulling that on my last reading too. You know, is the, even if this applies into some you know, work situation or a friend or a family member, somebody was not committed to you. You know what I'm saying? Just doing some, some mess around you. You know what I'm saying? But it's like you focus your attention elsewhere. You're not paying attention to this person. They can do whatever they're going to do on the corner over there, <laughs> you know, being unhappy. And you're over here somewhere else. And this is what I was saying in my last reading. You got the Ace of Cups, uh, excuse me, the Ace of Wands coming out to the Queen of Wands. This is an escalation. Y'all, didn't I say on my last reading, you were like focusing on doing something else. You know, I was, you know, picking up on energy, like you moved away. You had to go do something spontaneous, do something to kind of get you back in your own energy. And here it is coming out. Your Ace of Wands energy is like, you know, drive, inspiration. This also talks about exciting new beginnings. You know, maybe you're waiting for something to come up. Maybe you're creating something new, right? It's like you're excited about something. This is drive. This is inspiration. One energy is creation energy. This is also protective energy, right? Protecting your energy with your wand, okay? Ace of Wands uh, escalating to the Queen of Wands. You're independent by yourself over there doing you. You know what I'm saying, collective? You don't need nobody. You know what I'm saying? You're also very sociable. So if you do feel like going out and, you know, being sociable with people, you can feel confident being by yourself, right? You know, this is also you being creative. So with the Ace of Wands escalating to the Queen of Wands, I do feel like, you know, I, I was saying on my last reading, you know, doing you, focusing on work, focusing on your creative craft, focusing on your spiritual journey, you're focusing on something. It's you doing it. It's you. You know, maybe you got some creative project going on because you got two wand energies that are big here two very big wand energy. So, you know, I do pick up an energy of somebody went out and started gardening, gardening. Um, I'm picking up on a painter as well. Somebody, um, there's a architect. I'm picking up on an architect. Somebody's designing something that has to do with uh, buildings. So this is somebody doing something in a creative way. You're designing, you're creating whatever you're doing in that one energy. It's an exciting new beginning for you. This is your real true energy, right? You know, definitely being very independent, creative, sociable, uh, you know, protective in your energy. This is you. This is this energy that I was picking up on. And it has to do with this Nine of Cups. What I tell y'all, the Nine of Cups does have to do with some an invitation or proposal of a cup of motion. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be, you know, a, a knight in shining armor plopping out and saying, hey, I love you. But you know what I'm saying? It, it, it could, you know, this could be a romantic proposal. But what I'm feeling in this energy, this is you giving the self-love back to yourself, just as, uh, as well as I said at my last reading. This is you loving yourself back to yourself. Y'all, self-love can do a lot. Self-love can do a lot for you. When you love in yourself, we're knowing that you can replenish your own well. You don't need to go to anybody else for it. Come on, collective, let him know. You are not dependent on anybody else to love you because you can love yourself all the way back to yourself and create new beginnings by yourself. Go ahead on, Queen of Wands. <laughs> Y'all, you know I mean, and this is what I was saying on my last reading. You are powerful all by yourself, all by yourself, independent, creative, abundant, you know, with this Knight of Cups uh, energy, loving yourself. This is self-love all day long. 
right? And I feel like it's like a really zen energy. It's like you're in your zone. You're going to know what I'm talking about. If you, whatever you're doing, whoever this architect, gardener, painter person is, it's you, you love what you do. You love your craft. This is you loving yourself. Nine of Cups giving that love to you. Y'all see how this Nine of Cups is looking at the Queen of Wands, looking at you? All that self-love going on. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? Somebody somebody that you kind of left behind to kind of love yourself back to yourself, the Six of Cups energy, somebody from the past, you know, was reminiscing on you, you know, right under this Ten of Cups in the inverse. The Six of Cups would possibly might have been some ex that you were dealing with, you know what I'm saying, who was trying to make you feel some type of way. They were having commitment issues. They couldn't commit to you, you know what I'm saying? But this person feels the Five of Swords. You know what I'm saying? This is like some type of defeat, loss, you know what I'm saying? This is right under the Ace of Wands. So it's like somebody feels defeated by you, you know, with this exciting new beginning. Somebody feels defeated by your inspiration, your drive, because they were the opposite. They were trying to do the opposite. This would have been somebody who was energetically trying to shut you down to where you could not have this exciting new beginning, to where you could not create, to where you could not be abundant. Y'all, mm -mm. told you this is the energy that I was feeling, you know, in my last reading. You know, this five of swords is, you know, sword energy is thought, create, um, you know, communication energy. This is literally giving me, um, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. <laughs> this, uh, this person feels defeated, definitely physically, mentally, emotionally. They feel defeated by what you're able to do without them. Y'all, mm -mm. somebody has a problem with control and when they don't have it anymore, when you have the wand, when you have the wand and you are wielding it, queen of wands, they don't like it. Too bad, too, too bad, so sad. I told you all this had everything to do with control. Somebody feels defeated by you controlling your own life. You know what I'm saying? And this is a confirmation of what I'm saying here, this hermit energy. This is you being in a position of solitude by yourself. Y'all, the queen of wands is right under the hermit. <laughs> You're by yourself doing your own thing. You know what I'm saying, collective? This hermit energy is also somebody who's very wise, who's a guide, you know, who stepped away from people, places, and things, including this person right here to do your soul searching. You know, like I said, I do feel a very Zen energy. So you might've went out in nature and grounded. You might've been, you know, taking time to pray, meditate, you know what I'm saying? Get closer to yourself. This is what I'm feeling like you getting closer to you. Um, I do feel like a lot of people are trying to figure out what makes you happy, whatever that is. It might've shifted here recently. Somebody might've remembered that while they were in their, their Herman energy. Somebody might've remembered that they, oh, they like gardening gardening makes them happy. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, whoever that architect is that I'm picking up, somebody really likes drafting a design. You know what I'm saying? If this applies to you, you're going to know who this is, but whoever you are, whatever you do, it's like you remembered in this hermit energy, what makes you happy. And you started doing it. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you could be somebody who likes to bake, you know, and you know, somebody, whether it's baking, cooking, really good gourmet foods, you put all that love, that all that Nine of Cups energy into whatever you're doing. You put all that love into your craft. You put all that love back into yourself and you do this all by yourself. You know what I'm saying? And this is the way that you spread love out to the rest of the world. Y'all, a lot, a lot of healers come in many forms. You know what I'm saying? You could be, you know, the I, I keep going back to the Matrix movie. You could be the Oracle baking baking cookies. You know what I'm saying? Remember that scene in the or on the Matrix? She baking cookies. By the time you finish eating it, you'll feel right as rain. Come on, y'all, <laughs> Matrix fans, y'all know what I'm talking about. But however it is, you loving yourself back to yourself, doing something creative while remembering this in your Hermit energy. This is your justice. Told y'all, y'all have nothing you know, to fear. You, you don't need outside validation to love yourself. You don't even need anybody to help you with a new beginning. You can do that all by yourself. As with anybody who actually is in touch with themselves when they go in the Hermit energy. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to feel down. You can replenish your own self and this is your justice. You know what I'm saying? Your justice to move away from people who have the three of pentacles and the inverse energy around you, who are always in their ego, being bad team players and just doing sloppy work. You know what I'm saying? Being sloppy when it comes to you and your past and you being non-committed. You know what I'm saying? If this was some type of ex, this was some friend that, you know, it was not committed to being a good friend or a family member. You know, this is like a work situation. You know, this is your justice to love yourself back to going, getting a new beginning with a new job that is actually fulfilling, creative, and it actually gives you the love to you can pour back into, you know, the world. You know what I'm saying, collective? 
you you can love yourself back to yourself to give love to everybody else this is a healer all day long y'all but you know that whoever you are collective you it's your justice to move away from people who are not committed to you who are always in their ego bad team players carrying this nine of cups in the inverse synergy you know what I'm saying? This is also being, uh, you know, someone who's greedy. They don't want to share. This is also a lack of belief. Somebody doesn't believe in you or didn't believe in you, doesn't believe in you, but you don't need them to believe in you. You got man right under the ace of wands. I'm telling you, you don't need anybody else to believe in you, to support you, to do you collective. Somebody out there is remembering that in your queen of wands, Herman energy. You know, there's not a cups in the inverse. This is somebody who has like a lack of belief. They're greedy. They're smug. They don't want to share. So it's like, if you talk to somebody about this new beginning that you wanted, they would have been like trying to shut you down. No, you can't do that. Well, you need to do such and such and such to do this. Well, you, you don't have such and such degree. You don't have such and such money. You know what I'm saying? Well, you, 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 I don't know. I don't know if you're ready for that. You are ready for that. Come on, collective. Believe in yourself. Somebody else didn't believe in you. You know what I'm saying? And it's like you showing up and showing out and doing you and giving the self-love back to you, showing that you can love yourself, showing that you believe in yourself, collective. Give somebody else a page of wands in the inverse. Gives them bad news because they didn't think you can do it, but you are, or you're about to, you know what I'm saying? This is also the energy of feeling unmotivated. They feel unmotivated, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like you're proving them wrong. All day long, you're proving them wrong. This is them being fearful. So it's like whoever didn't believe in you is afraid of you now. They're afraid of your power. Your Hermit energy brought up your brought out your Queen of Wands to the Ace of Wands energy. And here go the world, closing this out. This is the end of a cycle. This is a completion. Talking about, you know, a new beginning, new direction. You getting to be you getting to be able to move in this energy. And like I said, I do feel a very zen energy. It's like you found yourself again. It feels really good, doesn't it? I love this for y'all. This is justice. This has everything to do with your ace of uh, your eight of pentacles. Told you your hard work, your training, your practice, and your skill. Told you it has to do with how hard you're working. However, this shows up, whether this is a creative project, your nine to five, a new business, your your healing journey in general, it doesn't matter how this shows up. This has to do with you completing on a cycle and showing up and showing out with who you are, what you can do, and the fact that you believe and love yourself. Self-love is doing this. You know what I'm saying? Self-love is doing this with this Eight of Pentacles energy. You know what I'm saying? To get your four of wands, this talks about your stability, some type of celebration or, uh, or event. This also does uh, carry the energy of like, like a breakaway after a period of hard work. Coming out right up next to the Eight of Pentacles, y'all. It's kind of like you broke free. You've been busting your tail for, uh, tail for a while. Now you're about ready to get some type of a celebration or a break. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm breaking away from all these people who have lack minds and don't believe in me. I believe in me. This might resonate if this is a situation for like work. You're deciding to leave that job that didn't believe in you. Try to keep you stifled. Try to keep you shut down. You believe in you so you can do whatever you want to. Ain't nobody can tell you different. Right, Collective? You know what I'm saying? So this will resonate in a lot of different situations because you loved yourself enough to believe in yourself to create your own new beginning. And this is your justice, right? You know, this nine of swords and the inverse is here. This is you overcoming the fear of data, uh, daters, uh, doubters and haters, right? You're not afraid of these people anymore. You're not afraid of this queen of swords and the inverse. This person who is a liar, who's a manipulator, who's very insensitive in, in their words, very vindictive too. You're not afraid of this person because you have shown yourself that you can love yourself to create a new beginning. However, this shows up, you know what I'm saying? You're not afraid of this person anymore because you have proven to yourself that all I needed to do is believe in myself, love myself back to myself, and I make me happy. I do, not anybody else. And this is you calling judgment on the situation. You do not need outside validation to show anybody else that you are loved. You are loved because you love yourself, Collective. And the love that you give yourself is so powerful. It allows you to do so many things. And to be quite honest, when you show yourself that self-love, that is the love that the Most High put in you, right? Now you're able to love yourself, but not only that, show that love to other people so they can love themselves. A lot of like-minded people out there get stuck because they don't remember how they can love themselves. They try to be validated by somebody else. They don't need that. That's why they get stuck in the rat race of trying to copy, which is where envy and jealousy comes in at. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You don't do that. There's no need to. You can do anything that you want to by yourself because you love yourself to believe in yourself. And when you believe in yourself, you can do anything. And not right collective. Call in judgment on this situation, right? 
And when you do this, this creates some type of a death energy for whomever this person, the Queen of Swords and the inverse person is. This is a, an ending. This is change. This is transformation. This is going in a new direction. This also does represent, you know, an ending for a new beginning to happen. You know what I'm saying? Whoever didn't believe in you, they didn't need to believe in you. You needed to believe in you, right, Collective? You know what I'm saying? This is a death. I do feel like this is an ego death for whoever this person is. Carrying this four of cups in the inverse energy. Somebody who's depressed and self-absorbed. You know what I'm saying? They're only thinking about them. And that's why they're in the feelings. This emperor in the inverse. This is this dominant, controlling, arrogant, undisciplined person. I told y'all in my last reading, it was all about control. Once you show them that you cannot be controlled, that like throw them, throws them all off their entire game. Death energy, right? You cannot be controlled. You are not here to be controlled. You are here to do what the Most High God told you to do and however that shows up. Whether that's creatively, your nine to five, your loving energy, however this shows up. You doing you without somebody trying to control you. You are not here to be controlled. You are nobody's pet. You are nobody's project. You are nobody here to be stifled and shut down. You have the power and love all within yourself to do anything that you want to do, collective. And that shuts this emperor down, right? This also talks about an undisciplined, very chaotic energy. You know what I'm saying? Somebody who doesn't know how to control themselves, so they try to control other people. You're not that one. You ain't the one, right, collective? You ain't the one or the two. Tell them, collective. <laughs> Which is why this page of pentacles and the inverse energy is here. This was a bad investment and this was a waste of time for them trying to control you. You cannot be controlled. You run free with the love that the most high put inside you. You are not the one or the two. This was a whole waste of time. And as a result, our last clarifier is this five of cups. Now they feel upset, some type of grief. You know, some type of an emotional breakdown, you know, that some type of argument. They're they're not happy. As well, you know, it was going to be that way. Them trying to control you and trying to shut something down or trying, you know, I didn't believe you. I'm not supporting you. Or however this situation showed up, now they're in their feelings. But the thing about it is, is that you didn't need them in the first place. Whoever this person is, again, place the energy wherever it resonates. Friend, family member, the, you know, your ex, the, the co-worker, your boss, whoever this person is. They just wanted to control you. And as soon as they got shut down by your self-love, you know what I'm saying, collective? Now they're in the feelings. That's exactly where they're going to stay. All right, let's get a mystical oracle and we'll get some advice for our collective. Card 39, my home is my castle. All right, let's take a look here. You might be in your home. You might be doing something outside your home. That person I was picking up on gardening. All right. The woman on the card carries a big castle on her shoulders. The castle is solid. It seems like it was growing each year of her life. The castle stands for the woman's soul. Inside its enduring walls, she keeps all her memories, thoughts, knowledge, and feelings. The older the woman gets, the more this fortress of life grows. It keeps her company, defends her against pain, and provides the foundation for her true self to continue its journey. What did I just say? <laughs> yes, this is this is, looks like somebody's uh, hermit energy. You know what I'm saying? Your fortress protects you from pain. And it's like you you really giving that belief in yourself and allows you to push through anything that anybody can throw in your way. You know what I'm saying? Your home is your castle, hermit. All right, let's get an uh, animal totem and we'll wrap up. Card 14, the gazelle. Let's see what the gazelles got to tell us here. As gazelles leap and whirl across the savannah, they express their freedom and movement with sensuality and grace. Gazelles fluidity dances through life and invites you to do the same. This may be a time to notice if you have attachments to old static energy of the past. Does any part of your life feel repressive, shameful, or heavy? Gazelle reminds you that today, it might be an opportune time to release negative energies, maybe even generations of strict discipline, repression, or stifling your creativity. Dance with Mother Earth and allow her to restore your wholeness. The healing sacred spirit releasing old and embracing the new creates freedom, travel, rejuvenation of your creative spirit. Okay, Ace of Wands to the Queen of Wands. This is what I'm talking about. Somebody is embodying the energy of the gazelle because they realize their home was their castle. They came out abundantly creative, loving themselves. Self-love did this, did this, you guys. And it's like a call to remind yourself, whenever you feel like somebody's trying to stifle you, shut you down, they don't believe in you, they don't want to validate you, remember that you can validate you collective. You can give all that love back to yourself and believe in yourself to create your new world. Move like the gazelle. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.